Hello friends, uh, Mr. Chairman sir and friends. At the outset, uh, thank you very much for this invitation. Question is, can we define infection and what is the need to define surgical site infection? Why? What is the need? I see a patient and I think I would say that this is infected. But it is needed A for documentation and research to find out compare various protocols, compare various treatment modalities, but also to decide whether we can develop a roadmap, whether this is something where you would just like to observe or treat with antibiotics or aspirate and give antibiotics and or debride with antibiotics. So how does definition help us or is there any definition to be honest? So the definition has evolved over a period of years. About for many, many years, the three, these three definitions were commonly used. CDC definition or US Center for Disease Control, then NINS or United Kingdom Nosocomial National Surveillance Scheme and a system. Variously, various different types like superficial infection, deep infection. But finally in CDC, the last thing was diagnosis by surgeon of patient. After all that, this means was almost similar to CDC and a subsist was a quantitative system, scoring system where scores would tell you whether it is severe infection or not severe infection. Now a major, major publication came in 2010. How will surgical site infection be measured? And this was a huge study. Eight year study, prospective study. More than 7,000 patients were studied in a British university hospital. And surgical site infection or surgical wounds were classified using these three definitions. And they just wanted to find out A, whether the results are similar using these three definitions and B, whether they work as a threshold for starting or doing appropriate treatment. So the protocol was very good, four nurses were there, patients were seen thrice while in indoor, they were also given a question array which they were supposed to return and will be surprised to know that the infection rate using three three definitions varied significantly. With a sepsis it was 8 point something, with NINS it was 11.3 and with CDC the infection rate, normally you would say infection rate is between 2% to 3% or in fact less. By using these objective definitions the infection rate varied between 8.7 to 11, 15.4% and that's really really terrible. So A, there was no reliable definition as a threshold for treatment as well as there was no reliable definition to diagnose infection. So therefore they warned that such high incidence of or dedicated programs like this would probably lead to apparently high rate of infection supported. So what happened after that? This new definition was floated somewhere in 2018 and they told us about a road map. They told us there are certain things which will just tell you that this is infection. I mean anybody would say that there is a sinus, there is a wound breakdown, this is infection. The problem is when you face with a patient who has just about pain, gets up at night with pain, there is little swelling, warmth, CBCSR is slightly high and wound discharge is persistent, then what do you call it? Do you call it infection or no infection? So they term this as suggestive criteria. This is very likely to be infected in view of all these and then what they suggested was whether it is confirmatory criteria like uh, the first or even suggestive criteria, without surgical exploration you cannot decide whether it is infected or not and it is best to debride whenever you are suspecting infection. 
And after that again, after surgical exploration, the conformity criteria where cultures, positive cultures of same bacteria with at least two cultures, with at least two samples, then it is confirmatory or histopathology, you actually pick, pick up bacteria. Again, there are suggestive criteria if there is only one sample. See, uh, uh, all of us know that for, uh, for peritostatic they say that you should collect at least six samples. So if there is only one sample positive, then it is again suggestive. But in view of all other criteria, clinical criteria and this, you can term this as a surgical site infection. So if you diagnose any of this, whether it is suggestive or uh, confirmatory, you must debride with targeted antibiotics. Not only with confirmatory, but with suggestive. Question is why? Because within seconds of surgery, surgical field is flooded with these anti with bacteria. They are in planktonic form and they are generally eliminated by body's defenses and antibiotics. Under favorable circumstances to bacteria, they start getting stuck to the implant and stuck to themselves. They secrete polysaccharide and start developing, uh, developing uh, colonies. The metabolic rate goes down. Nutritional requirements decrease, our clinical parameters also decrease and they arrange themselves in three layers. The lowermost has no effect of antibiotics and then it, this biofilm starts forming, the phagocytes get frustrated, they also start dipping in and the blood, the, the implant starts becoming loose because they start burrowing inside. Intermittently these films burst, intermittently they, you would think that this is infection, this, there is a, 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 a discharge, but that also settles often. And this osteolysis may lead to implant failure with this bursting biofilm. Thus if we have to salvage infection, salvage fixation and uh, suppress it till fracture union, we need to attack early not with empirical antibiotics because they will kill only planktonic bacteria. Very often they cannot kill biofilm bacteria. Therefore we must attack with knife, get rid of adherent biofilm, collect samples and then our antibiotics can kill planktonic bacteria and in discharge uh, the uh, field can become sterile. Therefore salvage of implant and construct is possible only in first few weeks of uh, fixation with debridement. Hence, it is difficult to define infection. Let's face it. Therefore, surgery should be performed before confirmatory criteria appear and the only way to salvage is debridement and culture specific antibiotics if you want to salvage fixation. Thank you, friends.